assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to this channel so this is me ali vaid and in this video we are going to start another uh, uh, topic of uh, pharmacodynamics so this is about the intrinsic activity of the agonist so in the previous lecture we have discussed what are the counter responses what is the counter dose relationship what is the graded dose relationship so now we are going to discuss the intrinsic activity so first of all i am going to define the intrinsic activity so it is the ability to activate your receptors and to produce a particular kind of response inside your body so whenever the receptor activate a response produce so this is called as intrinsic activity so more the intrinsic activity more the efficacy more will be the response of that drug so now let's discuss what is the uh, agonist what is the definition of it so agonist is a substance that binds to the receptor and it is going to mimic mice the reaction of your endogenous ligand endogenous ligand which is present already inside your body like your hormones your proteins etc so whenever a substance which acts as agonist it will binds and produce the activation of that receptors and uh, causing a produce in the uh, uh, causing a produce in the response now let's discuss what are the types of agonists. So on the basis of their ability to activate receptors, they are divided into three types. First is the full agonist, partial agonist, and inverse agonist. Now we are going to discuss all of these agonists. So the first is full agonist. Full, its name indicates that this is the type of agonist which fully activates the receptor. So uh, it is not partially activating, it is fully activating the receptor. The efficacy of full agonist is same as, as the endogenous ligand. The ligand which is present inside your body, its efficacy means its response is just similar as the full agonist. So full agonist is going to minimize the action of endogenous ligand and producing same efficacy. Now the intrinsic activity of your full agonist is, is equal to 1, I mean it is showing 100% efficacy so we have given that their intrinsic activity is 1. Now uh, let's discuss the example, for example a, a patient is given a phenylepinephrine which is a drug and it is a full agonist of alpha 1 receptor so it is going to bind with the alpha 1 receptor activating this receptor and uh, work uh, just similar to the epinephrine which is a endogenous ligand and showing the intrinsic activity of 1 on the muscle so these alpha 1 receptors are present on the muscles. So here the graph is representing the activity, intrinsic activity of this full agonist. As you can see, it's max. It is its full response reaching to E max mean full efficacy of the hundred percent. So it is giving the response. So therefore, it is full agonist of that uh, particular kind of receptor. Now we are going to study what is the partial agonist. So here the explanation of partial agonist is given. So uh, partial agonist is also a type of agonist which partially activate the receptor so it is not going to uh, fully activate your receptor as the full agonist do so what is the efficacy so efficacy or e max of your partial agonist is just similar as same as the endogenous ligand so its efficacy is never going to be same its efficacy like uh, if uh, the full agonist is going to show 100 percent of efficacy then the partial agonist is going to show um, about 60 percent of efficacy so therefore it is never 100 okay and its intrinsic activity is greater than zero but smaller than one and in the case so full agonist we have discussed that the intrinsic activity is equal to one now let's discuss the example so pre preazole is a drug which is a partial agonist of dopamine receptor so here the activity of pre preazole is given that is is not equal to e max 100 percent it is uh, it is less than it now there is a last type of agonist which is the inverse agonist as its name indicate inverse mean opposite so this type of agonist which is inactivating it is not activating it so in the previous lecture we have discussed it is going to activate the receptor but here it is just inverse it is not activating it is inactivating your receptor it is converting your activated receptor into inactivated form we have discussed what are the states of receptor in this chapter in the lecture number one of this chapter and we have discussed that there are the two states of receptor inactivated form and activated form so 
it give opposite a, a response as that of agonist and the intrinsic activity is always less than zero for the inverse agonist so here the graph shows this is the curve for the inverse agonist that it is decreasing its response while the now i am combining whole, uh, all of the graphs of types of agonists so this was the graph for the full agonist this was the graph for partial agonist and this is the graph for inverse agonist so by showing this graph you will uh, clearly represent your partial full and inverse agonist now after uh, uh, learning about the intrinsic activity which is shown by the agonist now we move on to the intrinsic activity which is shown by antagonist of your body so here the intrinsic activity of antagonist is clearly shown so first of all we are going to define what is the antagonist so antagonist is a substance which is binding to the receptor and show no response so uh, it is uh, it is not uh, deactivating the re uh, receptor it is binding to receptor going to activate it but show no response as a result of it so uh, antagonism is a process or is a effect which is produced by it so what is the antagonism so when we uh, give a patient two drugs so the first drug is agonist second drug is antagonist so uh, what ha what happens inside the body so what uh, is going to do your antagonist is going to decrease the effect of agonist and show its own effect so this is called as antagonism so it is blocking the drug or agonist to bind with the receptor when the agonist cannot bind so uh, the activity of your agonist decreases now let's discuss what are the types of agonists which are present first is the pharmacological antagonists which are two uh, competitive uh, competitive or non-competitive chemical antagonists depositional or regional antagonists and functional antagonists now let's discuss what is the competitive antagonist so competitive always the word compete mean to fight so it is going to be fight so what happens it a competitive antagonist fight with the agonist to bind with the receptor and bind itself to the receptor and give no response okay let's suppose this is a membrane okay now uh, this is the receptors which is present or attached on this membrane now uh, let's suppose two uh, Two persons are here and they have to fight for it okay so now let's suppose this first person is the your uh, antagonist competitive antagonist and other is your agonist so competitive antagonist is going to fight with her uh, is going to uh, kill her and after killing her it will attach itself to the receptor and uh, causing uh, no response and producing no response so this uh, is just similar as the competitive antagonist so it is reversible it can reverse itself uh, when uh, but when it's re reverse itself for example it is attaching with it and uh, now we are going to discuss that the concentration of agonists increase so in the square form the agonist is represented the concentration of agonists increased than the antagonist so you here i have shown that there are two agonists um, antagonists here and the agonist quantity is increased so this have when uh, when this happens then this displays itself and allow to attach with it and then uh, will take a section so it is just similar ki agar jaise hum log ladai karte hain aur ladai karne ke dauran mein kya hota hai ki agar ek party ke bande zyada ho jate hain to wo phir wo phir dusron ko maar dalte hain so bilkul yahi cheez aa jati hai ki pehle ladai kis mein hui pehle sirf do bandon mein ladai hui thi pehla tha competitive antagonist aur dusra tha hamare paas agonist sirf in do mein hui thi फिर उसने भी अपने दोस्तों को बुला लिया और इसने भी अपने दोस्तों को बुला लिया अब इसके ये सारे दोस्त आ गए ठीक है और क्योंकि अब ये ज्यादा हो गए हैं तो ये खुद को इसके साथ अटैच कर लेगा ठीक है लेट्स सपोज कि ये मैं कह देती हूँ कि इसने खुद को अटैच कर लिया इसके साथ अब ये जो है ये अपने और दोस्तों को बुला लेता है ठीक है ये इसने अपने और दोस्तों को बुला लिया है और अब इसके जी चार दोस्त हो गए अब इसके दोस्त ज्यादा हैं तो ये डर जाएंगे अब ये भाग जाएंगे यहाँ से और ये यहाँ पर भाग गए और ये यहाँ के अटैच हो जाएंगे सो बिल्कुल इसी तरह का ये केस है ठीक है मज़ेदार सी स्टोरी है 
और दूसरी चीज़ आपने इसके बारे में याद रखनी है कि इट रिड्यूस द पोटेंस एगोनिस पोटेंसी कि ये उसकी कंसंट्रेशन को बढ़ा रहे हैं ये एगोनिस्ट है इसकी कंसंट्रेशन बढ़ गई है ई सी फिफ्टी इसका बढ़ गया है जब भी ई सी फिफ्टी बढ़ेगा तो पोटेंसी कम हो जाएगी सो इस तरह ये एगोनिस की पोटेंसी को कम कर रहे हैं एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कम्पिटेटिव एगोनिस इज टेट्राजोइन सो दिस टेट्राजोइन इज अ ड्रग विच इज द एंटी हाइपरटेंसिव ड्रग मीन इट इज डिक्रीजिंग द ब्लड प्रेशर सो इट इज द कम्पिटेटिव एंटागोनिस इट इंटरफेयर विद द एगोनिस्ट और एंडोजीनियस दाइगेंट विच इज नो रेपिनेफ्रीन सो ये किसके साथ फाइट करेगा टेट्राजोरिन और नो रेपिनेफ्रीन के दरमियान में फाइट होगी किस पे अल्फा वन रिसेप्टर पे कि आप लेट कंसीडर कर लो कि ये है अल्फा वन रिसेप्टर ये टेट्रा सॉरी हाँ ये टेट्राजोलिन है और ये आपके पास क्या है एपिनेफ्रीन है सो so, इन दोनों के दरमियान लड़ाई होगी और फिर वो होगा अगर हमारे पास अटैच हो जाता है ना ये टेट्राजोलिन सो ये ब्लड वेसल की डायलेशन करता है और ब्लड वेसल बी कम कर देता है ठीक है सो ये एंटी हाइपरटेंसिव है ना सो ये एज अ रिजल्ट बीपी कम कर रहा है जिस पेशेंट में बीपी ज्यादा है ये उनके वेजो डायलेशन करवा के बीपी कम करेगा अब चलते हैं हम जी नॉन कम्पिटेटिव एंटागोनिस्ट के ऊपर अच्छा बच्चों सो ये हमारे पास नॉन कम्पिटेटिव एंटागोनिस्ट है नॉन कम्पिटेटिव क्या है कि जिसने आप फाइट नहीं करना है सो अ नॉन कम्पिटेटिव एंटागोनिस्ट को वलेंटली बाउंड टू द रिसेप्टर एंड नेवर अलाउ दिस्ट टू बाइंड विद द रिसेप्टर कि अब क्या होना है सो लेट कंसिडर की ये एक मेम्ब्रेन है अगेन This is the receptor. Now what happens? Your antagonist is covalently bound to the receptor. It never leaves this receptor. Never allow antagonist to bind with it. Uh, so this is irreversible. It cannot be breakable because it is very strong bond. So so it is going to reduce the efficacy as well as the affinity so in the previous competitive antagonist the potency of drug decreases but here efficacy mean e max is decreases e max mean the response of the agonist decrease and affinity means the tendency to bind with the receptor will decreases example is phenoxybenzamine it is the alpha adrenergic receptors okay it will bind to them and um, uh, uh, making increase in the uh, peripheral uh, uh, nervous system ki ye jo activation hai unke actions ko increase karta hai so when it will it will bind to covalently bind to the alpha receptor and show its responses now let move on to the allosteric agonist so it will binds to at the allosteric side other than the agonist binding side so agar aapke agonist yahan par bind kar raha tha so this is a whole cell agar aapka agonist yahan par bind kar raha tha to ye agonist ki bajaye ye dusre receptor pe yahan pe bind kar jayega is pe bind karne ki wajah se ye iski shape ko tabdeel kar dega iski shape ab aise kar dega so ab yahan par is iske andar agonist nahi ja sakta hai so is wajah se iske andar antagonist iske andar jayega so yahan allosteric mein yahi hota hai so it is other than the agonist binding site prevent the agonist to bind with the receptor so it is irreversible it cannot be reversed back so the allosteric and uh, antagonist and non competitive they are used the same and it also reduce the uh, agonist efficacy and affinity now let discuss the examples of them so benzodiazepine benzodiazepine are the uh, sleep inducing drugs so th these bind to gaba receptor and produce allosteric agonist like effect now let discuss what are the chemical agonists so chemical antagonists are the drug which bind to one another so two drugs are binding with each other and forming a inactivated product so like antacids these are given when you have acidity in stomach so actually antacid is containing bases so when these bases react with the acid in your stomach so acid base reactions happen as a result neutralization happens and the inactivated a uh, product will form so this is called as chemical antagonism chemicals reacts and are inactivated form of product form then is the depositional regional antagonist so when two drugs competes for ADME what is ADME it is absorption distribution metabolism and elimination when two drugs have to fight for it then this is called as depositional regional antagonist examples of them is warfarin and sulfamide okay now we are going to discuss the last type of antagonist which is the functional antagonist 
so here the last type of antagonist is given which is the functional antagonist they do a functional opposite to the agonist so ye agonist they are just opposite to agonist for example agonist function is to increase the uh, blood pressure so they are decreasing the blood pressure so therefore they are functionally opposite to agonist examples so for example if you give a patient full agonist as well as the partial agonist let's suppose your full agonist is epinephrine which is uh, which is bind to beta 2 receptor and causing bronchodilation similarly you have give the patient histamine which binds to h1 receptor and cause bronchodilation so as a result you can see at the same time bronchoconstriction as well as the bronchodilation happens so therefore as a result nothing will happens and uh, the uh, response is uh, no, uh, nothing so that response will uh, just opposite to the agonist and no kind of response contact because two agonists have fight with the, themselves and produce a effect like antagonists they are just affecting opposites to each other one is causing bronchoconstriction other is causing bronchodilation you can give other examples like one is increasing the heart rate other is decreasing the heart rate when you give full agonist and a partial agonist so this was all about the today's lecture i hope that you will like this uh, video if you like it then please press the subscribe button and like button and make sure you have must subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so meet you soon in the next lecture so this chapter is covered from my side now after that we will discuss that what are kind of drugs are affecting on your autonomic nervous system we will discuss cholinergic receptor at the first So thank you so much meet you soon in the next lecture till up alafis